Okay, we're here. I have a controller. I have a game. And I have some levels to beat, ladies and gents. It is still Snake Biscuit, though. That is true. Uh oh, let me move that, move that. Kojima is a fan of the movie, which is why Snake uses the name in MGS2. Yeah, and why Snake is basically just Snake Pliskin. Why he named, why he stole the character and put it in a, in a, in a game. <laughs> Okie dokie, we're going to start with the Snake Tail. A woohoo! We've done the first four. Now, Bad Humans was here earlier and said that this last snake tale may be something interesting to try and figure out how to finish it. I don't know. It may be a really quick snake tale. I don't know. I really don't know. If, if it is, then what we will do, we will go over to the missions. I know, everyone get excited for the missions. Because we're over 50% now. Um, if it's a really quick one, we will go over to the missions and we will do the fun bits of Pliskin, which is the alternative missions. The VR missions themselves, especially the weapon modes, actually variety mode can be quite fun. Weapon mode, boring as heck, uh, but we will do the alternative missions, which are quite fun. The bomb disposal modes, elimination modes, hold up modes, those are quite fun. Uh, so we will do some Pliskin if this is insanely quick. This may take us the next two hours. I don't know. Bomb disposal. Yes. Precisely. VR mission hype and nine. Hell yeah, dude. We are, wait, this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do the snake tail first though, because snake tails are woohoo. The fifth and final snake tail. We've done A wrongdoing, B eggshell evil, C confidential legacy, D dead man's whispers, and this is E external gazer. Some of these have been quite hard hitting, but still terrible. In a good way. I opened the door to strut B. I went out onto the AB connecting bridge. No enemies sighted. Otacon gave me instructions via code. If anybody, by the way, if anybody is uh, is like, oh, I, I can't watch this. I don't know the story. They, they are self-contained stories, but they are so confusing and they don't really make a lot of sense. I opened the door to strap B. I went out onto the AB connecting bridge. No enemies sighted. Otacon gave me instructions via the codec. Listen carefully, Snake. I'll explain again. Our target this time is a mysterious, unidentified monster that's got the whole world in an uproar. They call it the Gurgalon. Gurgle on my way, you would, son! <laughs> what is he talking about? Only one in an uproar are Otacon and Mei Ling, and I bet they're only... Uh, and I bet they're the only ones using that nickname, too. That's what I was thinking, anyway. But I didn't say anything. Gurgle on, my wayward son. Uh, not knowing the story is standard even amongst seasoned MGS2 veterans. True story, Huff. You're a lucky Bargy! KP, how you doing? I'm sorry that you're battling the curtains. Argoroth has just gifted the sub to Epic for Epic's ninth month. Wah! Oh! Oh, yeah. it's got your your hair. Looking quite bouffant. <laughs> can't have epic without no cutlasses. No, with no cutlasses. That's the one. Not a double negative. Didn't even know that your sub had ran out. Well, there you go. <laughs> KP, you are battling the curtains since it's so windy today. So it's curtains for you. Argoroth is sometimes a nice guy, true. Why is my beard itchy? Sorry, excuse me while I just rub my face. I've got a lot of hair on it. There we go. Start a small fire. <laughs> what are you? The midwife? Indeed. What should we, we, should we, what should we call it? Epic. 
You have to shampoo it like regular hair. Ah, you think I shampoo my regular hair? <laughs> have I been oiling my beard? No, no. Yeah, yeah. I. The thing is, I'm not a big fan of my beard. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the day that I can get rid of it. Um, but it's not going to be for a while because it's an isolation beard. I'm just growing it for the length of time that we are in isolation. And then there is a plan for the beard. The beard plan is there. I wish I was good at rhyming sometimes. Anyway, Mei Ling and I bet that there's only one... Yeah, wait, what? What are we doing? What's he talking about? The Gurgalon. That's the one. Gurgle on, my wayward son. The only ones in an uproar are Otacon and Mei Ling, and I bet they're the only ones using that nickname too. That's what I was thinking anyway, but I didn't say anything. Otacon continued. I think you already know this, but uh, do not hurt the target. Take a picture of it before it has a chance to get away. You've made it this far, so don't do anything stupid. My hands were tied. Ridiculous or not, a mission is a mission. I made up my mind and began walking across the AB connecting bridge. Don't get your knickers in an uproar. Iskar, destroyer of the world. Yeah, he does look like an Iskar. Bad humans, you're terrible at writing, but good with drawing. Always greener on the other side. What am I? Okay. What? We have a camera. And we've got to find the Gurgalon. And it might live in the water? It's very qu- oh. It's very quiet here. Can we? No, I was trying to get the camera out while we're we're down here. What? What? Where? Why? Who? Or when is the gurgle on? All right, I'll be get I'll be get a snake. Did we just like fall into the water and then take a picture while we're falling? And then the gurgle on can eat us. I see nothing here. It's a peaceful stroll out on Strat AB. Gurgle on. Oh, gurgle boy. I see you're just terrible at everything. Makes life much easier to know you have a low bar. Oh! <gasps> I found the gurgle on! I stared in stunned silence at the churning whirlpool the sea had become. The surface of the sea was beginning to rise. No question about it, something huge was getting ready to make an appearance. My mysterious, ludicrous quest, my so-called monster search mission, looked to be coming to an unexpected conclusion. How did I get involved in this ridiculous mission? It all began three days ago! I was to- oh my god. I was testing Otacon's latest invention, the VR system, at Philanthropy's hideout. No! Not more VR! I don't want to do more VR! Yeah! Fine! Defuse all the bombs! Level 2! The sound the bombs make may give you clues about their... Locations. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> what? What? Cut. No. The bombs are going to gurgle on. You hope that your neighbors hear the disappointment? Do you want me to scream louder, KP? Scream if you want to go gurgle on. Oh, man. Right, okay. Well, at least it's one of the more fun ones. It's a fun run. 
Hey, friend. Have we got... Okay. Freeze. Put you to sleep. This is, an, this is a better one. Happy! Yo, dude, how's it going, man? Thank you for stopping by. Oh, there's a squeaker. I've heard a squeaker. Wait, is this the same mission as one of the ones that we've actually bleeping done? It's going all right. Um, it's going all right. But I gotta say, I would prefer not to be doing VR missions. I. This is the last snake tail. Uh oh. Uh wait. What? what? There we go. Freeze. <gasps> and the reason I'm doing the snake tails instead of doing the VR missions is because the VR missions are bleep. But apparently the final snake tail is to do some VR missions. Remember what you said earlier about giving a tip if you wanted? Um, yeah, hit me up, fam. Oh, wait, do, do we have to use both? I don't know, we only have to use one sensor. You can see Fraz doing VR in my OnlyFans, aka if you're subscribed and you're part of the Discord, uh, you can see me play these on Discord. Only because, God, these are terrible. Yeah, bad humans, hit me up. Give me, give me the. Hold on, actually. Oh well, unless you've already started writing. Let me complete this one mission, and then we'll find out. It's the perfect subscriber perk. Get to watch a man bore himself out of his brain. Okay. What? Exit. Oh no, it's fine. The world disappeared before my eyes. As my senses returned to my body, I realized that I wasn't actually on a bomb disposal mission, on a tanker. I was sitting at the VR training seat. I pulled off the headset and Otacon turned to speak. You were doing just fine! I nodded reluctantly. Otacon asked me with pride, What do you think about my new VR system? Not bad. That's all? Unsatisfied, he cocked his head. Uh, I can't believe it. To tell you the truth, I didn't expect you to work so well. I know, the VR system incorporates something called Copplethorn Engine? I just got it the other day. The Copplethorn Engine? Hearing the question, Otacon removed his glasses and a smile came over his face. The Copplethorn Engine is a quantum calculation system that's been getting a lot of attention over the, the certain quarters recently. Ah, uh, you know about quantum computing, right? Began Otacon, and as he went on, qubits. This and tensor, tensor products that. Fraz spat on his microphone. Whoops. Sorry. What are we doing? I've distracted myself now. You never played M any of the Metal Gear games? What do you think about this one? Well, Hamp, I started this franchise as a complete blind run. So far, this is probably my least favorite game in my most favorite engine. The game engine itself is really fun. The story and the way it goes about it, not a big fan. The VR is so good, he literally forgets it's VR. Right. Right. Yeah. For the next two hours and 37 minutes, Oh, sorry, that's when he was talking over it. I regretted my stupidity in having ask, uh, of having asked. In short, it allows the construction of virtual reality environments containing a here hitherto unprecedented amount of information. That information is conve converted into a signal that's conveyed into your brain via a headset, directly synthesizing the information uh, for each of your senses, while simultaneously cutting off feedback from your actual body. That way, the it's possible to realize a virtual reality environment that is completely indistinguishable from the real world down to lights, sounds, even your sense of smell and touch. You took a breather, and I couldn't miss my opportunity. I see, I understand now, I said, but trying to get up out of the seat. Oh no, I tried to get out of the seat, but Otacon stopped me. 
Copperthorn, by the way, is the character that first brought up in Mei Ling's Ghost Babel Codec calls. Well, there you go. How's things with you, Ham? By the way, another... We get, we're getting some love today. Another member of the Nook stream team right there. Argros, can I get can I get a, uh, a shout out for Happy, please? And as you're probably all incredibly bored of hearing by now, but I'm going to go on about it until you figure it out. All Nook streamers share certain qualities. If you like it here and you like the, the Atmos... You will be you will be agreeable over on Hamps. There you go. More more wind waker. How is the wind waking? Maybe you'd find it easier if you understood that there's a nook command, or you could just you know press the nook. It's down there. Go press it. Was editing some stuff on your stream and got the follow alert for Hamp and it scared the bejesus out of you. There you go. Uh, what the hell? I completely... What, the, what was I talking about? Anyway, yes, we've been pushed back down into the seat, I think. But I can't stop me. Wait a second, let's try it again. The goal of the next scenario will be to eliminate the enemies and secure the escape pass and, and the hostages and big... Shell, I guess Ocon just couldn't wait to try out his new toy. Reluctantly, I took the seat again. Otacon continued his briefing. Your mission is to eliminate all the enemies within a certain period of time. Ready, here we go. I put the headset back on and closed my eyes. A burst of light flashed through my eyelids. The next moment, I found myself surrounded by a world I could hardly believe was a mere construct. Down on the floor, behind here. Yeah, everybody get over here and look at my floor. That's where the... <laughs> That's where the Nook command is. Hello! Hey, Sistan. How you doing, dude? Oh, yeah! GG again! Uh, retro block party. I was completely and utterly unaware of it, which I feel like I'm really a bad person, bad retro streamer for not knowing about retro block party. But I saw my good friend Flib, and I was like, wait, what the dickens is this all about? Is it Retro Block Party? This is how much I, I know so little about it. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. It is. At least I got that right. Oh, nice, sister. Nice. I thought that's where the suddenly socks were. It's true. Where I keep my, my piles of socks. Flib, Pappy, Craven, Redweird. All of them. Pappy's in it as well. God, I love Pappy. The crusty old man herself. How very odd. I know all of these people, but I do not... I, I, until very recently. Was unaware of Retro Block Party. What a fool, I say. What a fool. But yeah, me and Flib go way back. I was part of the... Uh, part of the partnership uh, push to get him to where he is. He was- Ah, oh, oh, right, fine. It's the under- oh. You're dead. Huh? Quit that! It's the under- You're dead. Respond. Oh. You're dead. So bear with me. Huh? Oh! <laughs> now, we just died in this. I'm really hoping, can we exit the VR thing and be like, oh no, we died. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Oh, Otacon. That really hurt though. Can I leave? The VR simulation ended. The all too real virtual reality seemed to disappear and the senses returned to my body. I removed the headset. How was it? Asked, asked Otacon. I told him what I noticed during the two trials. It's well it's well done, no question, but it feels like an unnatural something's unnatural, like something's wrong with my senses. Unnatural? In what way? It's tough to explain, but I feel like I'm possessing someone else's body. That's because of the pseudo signal filling your brain. Theoretically, it could be possible to replicate the exact same stimulus as from the sensory structures in your fifth pardon me, physical body. 
Midway through my discussion with Otacon, the door opened and in strode Mei Ling. Hey, check this out! Mei Ling threw us the tabloid sheet. What? Oh, okay. Monster in big shell! Wait, hold on. Next. I feel like something went wrong there. No idea. Did someone say suddenly sucks? Yes! Thank you, BXT, for that sudden sock. A monster, a big shell, and some blurry writing, and some more Konami eyes. Hey, what? What's going on? Can you... It was a great stream, until the socks? It was an article describing... The appearance of some kind of huge creature near Big Shell. The title shouted, A monster at Big Shell! Completely ridiculous. So what? I said without hesitation. Mailing blinked in surprise. So what? It's a monster, Snake! Otacon hit the table. That's right! It's a monster! That picture has to be fake. It was the most normal opinion in the world, but you wouldn't have known by the way that they glared at me. Finally, they simply decided to ignore me. It sounds incredible, doesn't it, Mei Ling? A monster in New York? It's amazing. I agree. It's amazing. Too amazing. So it's a big shell. I want to go and see it. Hey, Otacon. I have an idea. No, wait. That was Mei Ling. She speaks like this now. Hey, Otacon. I have an idea. How about catching the monster? What do you say? Great idea. Let's get him. It'd be a real boon to biology. No, I take that back. Back to all of the sciences. That's right. Hey, do you think we could make a lot of customers if we build a monster zoo? Of course! Judging from the dorsal fin, I think the monster must have come from underwater. What do you think? Maybe. What about making stuffed animals or t-shirts? Not bad, but I can't help thinking that there might be a messenger from outer space, you know? Oh, totally, but we better register a trademark first. They excitedly kept on what, for what seemed like forever a disjointed conversation. I couldn't believe they were actually considering it, but I had a chask. Hey, I hope you're not serious about- Oh, wait, hey, I'm, I hope you're not serious about catching this thing. Sorry, I'm very confused by the the text. Otacon regarded me with utter shock. Wake up, snake! We're talking about a monster here. Mei Ling kicked the chair. He's right. He's- This is about a monster. But- Otacon leaned towards me. A monster of unknown origin has appeared. As a scientist, I can't simply ignore it. Do you have- do I have to remind you about the philanthropy's financial situation? What? Uh, what? We don't even know if we have enough to cover the rent this much. Oh, no, uh, that's Mei Ling again. God damn it, I need to read ahead. Mei Ling! She's going through some changes. Cobra, hello to ya. Two hours to promotion, Wolf Soul. Nice. Pirate Prince Wolf Soul in two hours. Officer Keen. It's entirely intentional, of course. Mei Ling snapped with fire in her eyes. Do I have to remind you about the philanthropy's financial situation? I We don't even know if we're going to have enough to cover the rent this month, snapped Mei Ling this time. But what do you propose instead of catching it? Are you just going to go... Wait, are you just going to quietly let this opportunity slip by, you coward? But Otacon and Mei Ling kept their simultaneous tirade as I hesitated. We've got to do it! 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 At this point, there was nothing to say except, Okay. That's the story. And so I came to Big Shell. That was three hours ago. Bad humans, did we good- did we do good? By dying in the VR mission? Or like anybody that knows. Was that a good thing to do? Beep, beep. Aw, missed. Aw, oh, missed. We did good! Yay! That's right, guys. I meant to die. 
It's all part of the master plan. No? Okay. Thought we might be able to. You can skip VR missions. I mean, you don't care about the endings, right? Nah. Nah, as long as we've done them. Hey, bro. Okay, so he was looking over that bit. What the hell do we need to do? I assume it's something to do with this lower section here. Okay. He was looking over. I'm looking over. I'm standing on a hole. Spinning around. Everybody loves this. Blimey. Come on, let's have a look down this one. Uh, you can skip some of the VR missions in Snake Tales. I don't recall which ones you're forced to do. Can we like... Okay, we can go up against the side. Because this is what originally started the game, right? Uh, or started this, this mission. Was us uh, walking pressed up against the railing. Hmm. Cobra, how's your day going? about well, this one? I know that, that, one, that one flaps open, doesn't it? And we can scream ah! if you want to go faster. Okay, maybe maybe we try going to the next section? Because this is a this is a a rundown, right? So this is back in... Oh, uh, we just had to go through. Alright, fine. I contacted Otacon via the codec as I entered Strut C. What's up, Snake? Found any clues? Asked Otacon. Negative. But I've seen some strange people wandering around. I told Otacon about the soldiers I'd seen on the CD connecting bridge. And Otacon replied, I bet they're trying to get Gurgle on, just like we are. It's really hard to not sing Gurgle on, my wayward son. I don't think. It has to be. He swore with confidence. But not in this stream. Anyway, just move ahead with getting... Uh, wait. Anyway, just move ahead without getting caught. It's fine. Uh, most of the sightings of Gurgalan have been southwest of Big Shell. Head for the AB connecting bridge. I'd come this far, so there was nothing to do but follow Otacon. I started moving towards the AB connecting bridge. Strutzy, dining hall. My chair has just decided to start lowering itself. Let's try and sort that out. Hello? Anybody? Anybody home? What have we got here? Screwdrivers. Crates of apples. Nice. Uh, some melons. Do like melons. Mm -hmm. uh, hello? There? Oh, there's a dude in here. Hey, friend. Huh? Who's that? You're dead. I mean, you're not dead. I shot you with a tranquilizer. You're asleep. Oh, not not with the, the, the flailing, Snake. Not with the flailing. All right, get up, me. Get up. Got to check under the tables. You never know. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm looking for. Is this for PC? You're damn right it is, dude. Where is it? Where is it? There you go. PC DVD-ROM. Where can you get a copy? Uh, I got mine from eBay, I think. Uh, you will need to uh, get a fan-made patch to make it work proper. There's a dude down here. Sweet dreams. Kind of feel we're at 50-50 here. Now, the debate. Would shooting someone in the eye with a trank kill them? I mean, are you not watching? 
Officer Keen. Clearly not! This is the most biologically accurate game ever. Where am I from? I am from the South UK. Also, I realised that I haven't done my intro in the Nook yet. Not because I don't care, mainly because I am... I, uh, I mean, I love the Nook, but for some reason I just keep on forgetting to do these things for the Nook. I haven't done my introduction, I haven't done the Nook command, I haven't... Ah! But what I have done is I've made all of the Nook members VIPs. So, there's... I'm not! I'm not! I'm not too big. For, I'm only b too big for Agra. That sounds like a conversation that should be on a different channel. Ah, oh, we get no, no bits, no bobs. I did nothing for the nookie. Ah, uh, but yeah, I'm in South South UK. What about you, Hamp? Tell me more. Wolf Soul, leading that charge. Oh! <laughs> the entire crew got wiped out! The pirate princess. Oh, sleep. There you go. Nape of the neck. Um, I assume we can't get... No. I was thinking we might get the uh, maps up with this one, but no. Uh oh. You get flipped, son! So you! We were only two in the crew and there was probably a hundred soldiers. True story. Anyway, that's the story. Here I am, forced to hunt down a monster and it looks as though something's about to appear before my very eyes. At this point, there's nothing to do but get ready. I checked over the camera, but I had no idea what I'm about to see. I'm going to shoot first and ask questions later. Okay, no, it's fine. He's got a camera. It also, it, that, that counts as shooting, right? You remember that part? Yeah, dude. I mean, so if this is your first time here, uh, I can't remember whether it is, but if it is, we do full franchises to 100%. This game, to get the 100%, we've had to do it, f the main story, we had to do five times because we had to do it on every single difficulty. Thank you, Wolf Soul. To get the 100%, we had to do it on every damn difficulty. Anyway, that's the story. Here I am, forced to hunt down and all that jazz. Now I'm going to take a picture. I think. Okay, I'm just putting it out there. I reckon Gurgalon is going to be the, uh, the Godzilla giant dude. That's my... That's my two cents. Where you at, Gurgalon? Where's he going? Gurgle, 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 gurgly boy? Gurgle boy! Where the hell is he? I feel like I failed. Oh, we totally failed. Wait, there he is. <clears throat> oh, he's over there now. Where the hell are you going, lad? Google Bob! Oh, there he is. It is. It totally is. Did that work? No. Of course it is, because they don't do anything without... They just reuse their assets. There he is! Ah! Genkin, you only did snake tails once. What's happening? We're trying to get a picture of Gurgalon! Ah, come on! Do they have to be closer? Okay, guess we're going over this side. <laughs> oh, pizza just arrived. Hell yeah, Hamp. What you got on that pizza? Make me jealous. 
Well, to be fair, you can make me generous with most things on pizza, uh, but not fish. Swedes! All the single Swedes! All the streamer Swedes! That's sw streamer Swedes. That's the one. All the streamer Swedes! All the streamer Swedes! I'm having fun. Shut up. Gurgle on! Come on, Gurgle on. Stop being shy. I just want to take a picture of your beautiful face. Oh, he's somewhere. He's... Oh, damn it. What about kiwi on pizza? Okay, you know what? I'm just going to wait over this side. Oh, that's just a bit of his chest. Come on. Come on! That's a really good picture of Gurgalon. Look your head up, mate. Good! Yeah. Oh, kebab pizza, hell yeah. Uh oh! Big in pursuit! Don't kick me! That's so mean! Would you mind? Would you... Would you kindly? Alright, I'm not gonna kill anyone. And I'm gonna shoot you in the head. I appear to be bleeding from the neck. Not a big fan of New Zealanders on pizza or just in general? <sighs> okay. Well, that's the first time we've died today, actually. Um, now. No lettuce on the kebabas. Why am I not using my stun grenade? Ow! He kicked me in the groin to death! That's not a good way to go. Thanks to Vikos, we are raffling off a copy of Civ 3, ladies and gents. All right, you know what we're going to do? I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. We're going to drop the stun grenade. Then we're going to jump over here. Then they're going to come to us. Ah, oh, damn it. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. I think some of them may have gone down then. RIP! KP, you've got yourself a, a raffle ticket strip. Please remember anybody that is uh, entering the raffle, uh, I will DM you through Twitch with the, uh, the Steam code, so please do make sure that you've got your Twitch whispers open. Lettuce and chips on a kebab pizza, that sounds awesome. Whoops! I pressed the wrong button. Okay, I did the right thing, but then pressed the wrong button. How do we feel about that? Stop! Okay. Stop! Never. Are we good? Okay. Didn't get those guys. Oh, hello. There's more coming. Oh, really? Can I just run away now? No. Ow. <laughs> okay. 
Can explode, please. I'll just crouch over here, get myself a little bit of life back. Oh, it's Olga! Get out of my way! Screamed Olga. She wasn't armed. She didn't seem to be making a move to attack. I began ta uh, talking to her while I holstered my gun. What are you doing here? Olga smiled a little, but something about her smile wasn't right. She looked so different. She didn't carry the sense of darkness and tragedy that I remembered. In fact, she looked like a totally different woman. Don't get too friendly. I'm not the me that you know. And I don't know the me that you do. They don't know we know they know we know. What are you talking about? I'm looking for the key to get back to my universe. And that strange creature it is, is it? It doesn't belong in your universe and neither do I. These are like fever dreams. I love them. We're from a different place and your universe is in trouble too if you just ignore things. I couldn't wrap my brain around Olga's story. I was lost. Grinding her teeth, Olga looked down at the surface of the sea. Damn, he's getting away. Listen, check the VR system. It's allowing you to peek into another universe. That's what's causing all of this trouble. Shouted, shouted Olga as she jumped from the connecting bridge. Damn, he's getting away. Listen, check the VR system. Better. Wait! I leaned over the railing, but Olga had already disappeared into the sea. Olga's henchmen were jumping into the sea one after the other. I was left on the connecting bridge alone. I could, couldn't see Gurgalon anymore. There is my Gurgalon picture, ladies and gents. Um, okay, can I do anything with that? We just sat here looking at Gurgalon. Hey, bro! You're looking good! Yeah! Oh, Majestic Gurgalon! Oh, I thought that was gonna be it! My photo of Gurgalon sat on the table at the hideout. No sign today? asked Mei Ling. No. It looks like it hasn't shown up today either. It had been a week. No new sightings of Gurgalon. No one knew where he'd, sh where he'd show up next. Maybe he'd never show up again. I believed Olga. It didn't seem like she was lying. And what's more, the existence of that ridiculous monster was proof in of itself. There was no way something like that could live in our world, but it might be possible in another. Otacon brought up a theory about a parallel universe. As usual, Otacon gave far more than, of an explanation than necessary, but in a nutshell, the idea was that rather than a single universe, there were countless parallel universes existed in par parallel. Countless universes existing in par parallel. Why can't I talk? I think I need I need some food. It would meant that one universe might be exactly the same as mine, except the number of hairs on my head was off by one. In another universe, civilization might have sprung from Paramecia. There could even be a universe full of monsters. Otacon thought these universes were supposed to be mutually exclusive, but for some reason had been begun randomly intersecting. That was how the Olga we knew became switched with the Olga from a parallel universe, and how that monster came to be in ours. <laughs> oh no! I'm allergic to bull. <laughs> okay. Not the uh, parallel universe theory, uh, more just the story. It is quite like a salmon, to be fair. But if his theory was correct, we were in big trouble. Thank you for the blessings. For example, it was possible that in an hour I might switch with another version of myself from a different universe. Otacon might have already been switched with a different Otacon. What would happen to us if we were switched into a different universe? Say, where the moon was about to collide with Earth or something. It was simply impossible to predict what might happen next. Fortunately, the moon hadn't smashed into us yet, or at least not in our universe. Of course, that didn't guarantee that we'd be safe tomorrow. How's the analysis of the VR system coming? Otacon shook his head. I'm not getting anything at all. Otacon looked sick when he heard Olga had 
said that the VR system was the root of all of the problems. He told me that the Copplethorne engine, the heart of the new VR system, was a quantum computational device designed by Dr. Copplethorne, but the principles behind it remained unknown. He opened the housing, a literal black box, and found nothing inside except some mysterious circuits, clattering gears, and what appeared to be some iron spheres. Exciting, right? But somehow it worked. But somehow it worked. That's probably why it was such a source of excitement for some people. Pseudoscience aficionados have been examining the thing, and the only conclusions thus far had centered around the possibility that it might use. Uh, that it might. Wait. That it was made. It made use of components from UFOs or artifacts from a lost civilization, meaning nobody had figured out what made it tick, and that. What's more, nobody had ever seen this Dr. Copplethorne, him, Copplethorne himself or herself either. So, what was the connection between this mysterious VR system and the collision of the parallel universes? Olga had said that the root of the problem was the VR system's peeking into other universes. Which is exactly how uh, actual uh, the, the, the Vive, that's how the Vive works. I don't know if you're aware. Jima totally wrote this in some all-nighter sitting on the toilet. Yeah, not even an all-nighter, no. Just some night. Uh, Mei Ling had her own theory. The Copplethorne engine-based VR system wasn't simply constructing a virtual reality through its calculations, but managed to get around the wall separating the parallel universes, peering into parallel realities that satisfied certain requirements and incorporating the information into the VR system's virtual reality cons construct. Perhaps that observation and interference was creating the disturbance in the parallel universes, but that wasn't all, said Mei Ling. Perhaps Olga was searching for the Gurgalon because it was the cause of distortion among the parallel universes. The Gurgalon had become fulcrum around which space had walked, and if that was true, there would be no way to stop the distortion without getting rid of Gurgalon itself. And for that reason, we continued to search for Gurgalon. We'd lost trace of all the monster and hadn't made contact for further progress into the analysing... My god. We'd lost all trace of the monster, and we hadn't made any further progress into the analysis, into ana analyzing the VR system. But the disturbance of the parallel universes might well be continuing. It was possible that some of the universes might even be in peril. Woo. And it was equally possible that our own universe could follow the same path moments later. We were completely frazzled. It's only me having all nighters on the toilet. Are you sure? It's the place to be. All night long, all night. On the toilet. <laughs> Suddenly, Mei Ling spoke. If killing Gurgalong will make things right, there might be a way. What do you mean? I mean, what do you mean? Otagon raised his hand. Uh, no, his face. He raised something anyway. Uh, and Mei Ling began her explanation. If it's true that the VR systems can interfere with other parallel universes, why not try killing Gurgalon within the VR system? That could mean we're actually killing the original Gurgalon, and the Gurgalon in our universe could disappear. Do you know who I am? Blind ass. Hey guys, how's things going? Three months already. <gasps> whoop whoop! You've just got yourself your second cutlass! Thank you so much for distracting me from this turgid story. T space U space R space I space R. I've forgotten. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> how's it going, dude? How's your day? How's everybody? Hamp, if you're still in earshot, how's that pizza treating you? I have a pizza in the fridge ready for tomorrow. Thank you, Argroth. T dash U dash R dash G dash I dash D. Pizza for sure. You didn't get any pizza. Well, you still have time. Words make no sense anymore. They don't come easily. Things are okay. Going to get your Amiga running this weekend, so it's all good. Nice. Good news, Squire. Good news. What are you going to play first? Isn't that just a little too extreme, objected Otacon, to which Mei Ling shot back. We can't just sit back and stare at a photo. We've got to do something. You agree with me, right, Snake? I'm not sure, I answered. Her logic seemed extreme, no matter how I looked at it. But at the same time, I had the feeling that I'd end up doing it anyway. 
Doing something for the sake of doing it wasn't the answer, but I had to agree we hadn't come up with the solution to the problem. A few hours later, I squared off against Gurgalon inside the VR. Oh, okay. Can we just quit this one? Nuke is getting ready a beard. I don't like that it's starting to get a bit too ginger. You know what? We're going to take Gurgle on. Okay, we got we got stinger bullets. Okay, we need that, that's not how we take him down apparently. Yeah, break those boxes, Gurgle on. This fight seems familiar. Let's go for the head. Oh, where, 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 where? There it is. Come here, Gurgle on. Do I have any pentazamine? Yes, I do. There he goes. BXT, you got a thing do? Thing do, BXT. Thank you very much for the lurk. The lurk is love. The lurk is life. The lurk is here to take some strife. Ow. Oh, I wonder what happens if we uh, book down. There you go, Gurgalon. Come have a look at the book. You got a tip for this one? Go on, bad humans, hit me up. The lurk is love, the lurk is life, the lunk is here to take your life. Ankles! Take your wife! That's what makes it gurgle on. Let him see you standing by the book. That's what I just tried. Huh. Oh, no! Did I put the book too far forwards or something? Does, it, does this, like, little... Brain waves have to hit the book. Like that? Aww! Nice! What did I do wrong? Bad humans. Have I taken his, uh, his knee down? Yes, I have. Nice! You gotta be right on top of it. Go on, mate. I am, I am so on top of it. So he's, I'm going to let him see it. He's, I'm going to let him see us. Oh, hello. That's the freaky noise. God! <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> we just made him burst a blood vessel by looking at a nudie Mac. A tiny one as well. He's got very good eyesight, apparently. Gurgalon defeated. We turned the VR system off. But somehow, I still wasn't convinced. I removed the headset and spoke to Otacon. So, do you think we really did it? Otacon shrugged. Looked like he felt the same way I did. Just then, Mei Ling said, Of course the mission has succeeded. I saw a wicked smile on her face. We just lost the only way to restore the parallel universes to normal. What did you say? I said, rising from the seat. Mei Ling responded, There's no question that Gurgalon was the singularity that represented the warp in the parallel universes, but the only way to restore space as we know it wasn't to destroy the singularity, wasn't destroying the singularity, it was the solution was to capture the singularity, perform a counter-unitary counter conversation via the couple foreign engine, thereby dispersing the wave function to its state before convergence. Mei Ling continued, her voice full of satisfaction. Anyway, the disappearance of the singularity means the disappearance of the only method to restore space too. Who are you? Mei Ling sneered at Otacon's cry. To borrow Olga's words, I'm not Mei Ling, you know, but it's no hard feelings, okay? I was just following someone else's orders to complete a certain objective. Someone who? I asked her back. My husband, Mei Ling re replied sweetly. I believe he's called Solidus if you, uh, in your universe. Solidus, we screamed without thinking. Mei Ling slowly pointed a w at a wall and said, oh, Oh, speak of the devil! Just then, the wall exploded. Debris poured from the gap, dust enveloped the area, and Solidus Snake, clad in a power suit, stood in the middle. Solidus said to Mei Ling, Kept you waiting, huh? Honey! Mei Ling threw herself into Solidus's arms. I dove for Solidus. He fired a missile from the snake hand. A dazzling flash! Is this bad fan fiction? This is bad internal fan fiction? An explosion, and I was thrown against the wall. I lost consciousness momentarily. By the time I managed to get my to my feet, I saw Solidus cradling Mei Ling and escaping her. Uh, no, escaping through the hole that he'd just blown in the wall. In the end, I couldn't keep up with Solidus. Otacon and I discussed what to do next, and we stood on our half-destroyed hideout. If they were, if they were telling the truth, we'd just lost the way to restore the balance of the parallel universes. I think I got hiccups just because of the story. Anime nosebleed. Oh my god. Articon and I discussed what to do next as we stood in our half-destroyed hideout. If there were if they were telling the truth, we just lost the way to restore the balance of the parallel universes. But if they uh, but there still had to be something we could do. Finally, Articon spoke. What about Olga? Wasn't a bad idea. The Olga we'd run into in Big Shell seemed to have a good grasp on the situation. She might be able to come up with some kind of solution. There was just one problem. Where could she be? I told Otacon my concerns and he nodded with confidence. I have an idea and that's halfway through this story. God damn it. So what's your skill? Asked Otacon. A beautiful black woman with a slender build was sitting in front of us. She was too cheerful. She laughed far too often. I've got, like, really good luck. Good luck? Is that a skill? You betcha! Somewhat dismissively, I watched Otacon continue questioning the, questioning the applicant. Otacon had placed an ad entitled Wanted Gurgalon Search Team Members in the city's main newspaper the other day. Let's catch this mysterious monster with our own hands! We had credible information about where the creature will be... will appear. Experience is a plus. Oh wait, let's catch this mysterious monster with our own hands. We have credible information about where the creature will appear. Experience is a plus. Details to be discussed during an interview. Unbelievably, quite a few people had shown up. We'd already met with more than 10 people, but there was still no sign of Olga. This is a lie. Take it out with Twitch, epic. We'll contact you later. I really look forward to hearing from you. The woman stood up, gave him a big smile and left. I said mm, uh, I said to Articon, Do you really think this is going to work? She has to be on the lookout for information about Gurgalon. She'll show up. But we've gotten... But all we've gotten so far are weirdos. 
Like that old man whose skill was backflips and sliding and... Yeah, he was funny. Hey! Obviously, Otacon was getting a kick out of the whole scene. Relax! Let's just wait a little longer. Next! Yelled Otacon. The door opened and lo and behold, in walked Olga! Back in the remains of our hideout, we explained the situation to Olga. After hearing our full account, Olga told us that there was still a way out. It's true that... Uh, oh, wait, she's Russian, isn't she? It's true that the Gurgalong singularity might have been erased, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we have all of singularities in all of the parallel universe. What? I'm confused. A glimmer of hope flashed through Otcon's eyes. You mean there are other singularities? Most likely, but their forms and locations in the parallel universes are un unknown. They won't be easy to find. We have some data on Gurgalon if we analyze the pattern, scan the vicinity of the strange attractor with VR, maybe we can... Otacon and Olga continued their technical discussion. The end result, so, uh, said Otacon, was settling on a method to find the singularities of the other parallel universes by continually just... No, I've, I've lost the will to speak. <laughs> this is... This is brain numbing. What was what was the bit before? The end result, said Otacon, was the settling on a method to find singularities of the parallel universes by continuing to just leave and finally Johnny. adjusting. Hi, vamp. Oh god. Thank you for the host, vamp. What is this? It's trash. It's hilarious. Sliders. Oh my god, it is sliders! <gasps> I used to love that. Anyway. The 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 in the end. Ah! Alcon said the only way was just settling on a method to find the singularities in the other parallel universes is by continuously and finally adjusting the wave function parameter of the VR system to mimic the unique pattern generated by the singularity. In other words, it looked like I'd have to make it through a series of VR constructs. Preparations were made faster than I expected. I returned to the seat of the VR system. Damn it, we need to do more VR. Live! Live! I can't. <laughs> I don't think Solidus will just take this sitting down. You may run into traps. Stay alert. Otacon initialized the VR system with virtual reality spread out before my eyes. Can I just... Can I... Can I die here? I mean, in-game, that'd be good, but I'll take whatever. <laughs> I haven't got a gun. Oh wait, do we just need to get through this mission? This is, seems like it was written by an intern trying to impress Kojima. It was actually written by a very good writer. The one that was behind uh, Ghost Babel. Hmm? I'm pretty sure. Is there somebody there? Oh, damn it. This is one of the sneak missions, okay. Can I just skip through? I think we might be able to do it. Did you ever listen to the radio drama that attacked me? I can s I stopped the VR system as I removed the headset. Otacon yelled at me. Snake, what are you doing? I just didn't feel like it. What are you talking about? Do you realize the trouble we're in? We're doing it again! I replaced the headset onto my head. Otacon took control of the system. Fine! We have to do it! No, Argroth, I didn't. I probably should, right? How long is the audio drama? There we go. Ah, I just walked the wrong way. How many of these do I have to do? I, I'm, I'm, I'm full of VR. OBG is trying to incite a riot. 
Uh oh. Get up! Is there somebody there? We're fine. You know what you're doing. Is this choice? Is this why? Is this them trying to explain why Olga and uh, Otacon are the the voices in our head? Because there's easier ways to do it. Can I exit? Okay, did any singularities? I asked Otacon. No, not yet. Echoed Otacon's voice through the VR construct. Let me try a different setting. I'm getting ready. Hold on a minute. I was left alone in the virtual reality. You must have figured out by now how to find simi- oh. You must have figured out by now how to find singularities using VR Snake, but you won't find one, boomed a voice suddenly out of nowhere. It was Solidus. I called Otacon. Otacon, it's Solidus! I know, I detected him from my end, too. He's hacking into the VR system, but he hasn't gotten full control yet. Let's hurry into the next VR construct. Are you ready? A new VR space spread in front of my eyes. Uh-oh. Uh, I think I just got acid reflux from this story. I know what I'm doing, Vamp. Do you know what you're doing? Destroy all the targets and head to the goal. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. Ah. There we go. Oh, what's up there? 43? Oh, buttocks. Slippery butter buttocks. Ah, oh, goddammit. I'm never gonna be able to get that one. Okay, let's just look over here. Doesn't matter as long as we complete the damn things. That was annoying. Notice the snake and Raiden's VR missions both have women congratulating you for second place. Rose and Olga. Okay, does that count? Does that count? I don't care if it doesn't. As long as we're... How are you doing, Otacon? I asked an I asked empty air. Otacon's voice answered. I detected a likely pattern, but it's too far away. Change the settings of your variables and aim for the higher score. Ah, oh, we gotta oh, we gotta get a high score. We gotta get a high score. It's fine. It's fine. I'm happy. I'm happy to be playing this game. This game and me uh, don't have a terrible past. Terrible past? A horrific past. Okay, I see. That's what I was supposed to do in this bit. God damn it. I bet you. Yeah. Much of the same. Okay, that was much better. Are the controls for this game any good? Mm, they're, they're not as good as on console. Using this controller, anyway. In Superman 64, you could glitch it to fly through the concrete sidewalk. This game lets you hit your head against the concrete. Oh, Kikoko. Oh, God. The first person. All right, do we want to get a higher score than that? Because it's going to take a lot of effort to get a higher score than that. Uh, okay, how are you doing, Otacon? I asked the empty air. We're getting closer. I'll get ready for the next setting. Okie Koki. Heard Mailing's voice. They're doing a lot better than expected, aren't they? Indeed, we're, uh, we're better change strategy. We're going to have to somehow block the singularity so they can't get any closer, answered Solidus's disembodied voice. How about using them? It's too dangerous. Even if they did stop Snake, it'd be pointless if the world was destroyed in the process. True enough. Using them has to be our own, our last resort. Everything is in your hands, honey. Their voices were a lot clearer than before, and they were definitely getting closer. I yelled to Otacon, Otacon, it's Solidus! I know, their intrusion is progressing. We have to find the singularity before they get full control. I can't believe that this is a VR mission one. What, what is this? Are we... Well, I assume we're not getting... 
Don't get seen is one. Can continue. Take out all enemies and get to the goal. Okay, take them out, take them out, take them out. Okay. Oh, there's the M9. And... That'll do. That'll do. Ah, <laughs> chocolate night. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, that's second place, which hopefully... Yeah, that'll do. Okay, will it go quicker if I get first places? Uh, right, he's picking up a reaction. Hurry to the next goal. Honey, Snake is... I heard Mei Ling click her tongue. I heard it as if she was whispering it to me. Solidus answered. I know, it may be time to use them. Get ready. Roger that. I heard Otacon's excited voice. Come in, Snake. Solidus is taking control of the VR system. We don't have much time. Let's begin. With this run on an EVGA 8600 GT. Well, this game came out 2003. I, off the top of my head, I do not know what an EVGA 8600, 86,000 GT is. But if, uh, if it played games well in in 2003 it will play this game Checky. Hmm? Hi. Ah. Right. sleepy time for you and oh whoa 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 Okay, come on. Do this slowly, Freeze. surely. Ah. Take these lads out. One for you. One for you. Where's your friend? One for you. Sounded like the... Uh, No, don't. Don't! Congrats, Snake. Okay. Oh, hello. Wow. Oh, hello. I think I've just made my back go into spasm. Hooray! No, that's a bit extreme. It's not a spasm, but it, it, it does hurt. Woo! Blimey! Just cramped up a little bit. Oh. There was nothing there. There was no light, no sound, no feeling of temperature or even of height. Was this the singularity? I called Otacon, but it was Solidus who answered. You're in what's called, how can I put this so that you can understand, a gap between parallel universes. Solidus, why are you trying, what are you trying to do as well? Why are you trying to destroy the universe? I screamed. Ah, oh, we got 14 pages of this. Destroy, don't be so stupid. This is the correction. Back to how things should be. What do you mean? I don't know who created the Cobblethorn engine, or when, or where, or even why, but my guess is that it was designed as part of a grid. Com as a grid computing system spread between the parallel universes. Grid computing? Oh, grid computing. I'd have heard that from Otacon. It was a technique for creating a network supercomputer, a networked supercomputer with massive computational abilities by connecting numerous servers. If one could be built spanning across countless parallel universes, it would be possible to obtain near limitless computing power. Unlimited power! Hooray! But when the universe spanning Couplethorn engine was applied to the VR system, it became a device for controlling possibility itself. Solidus continued. Controlling! 
That's correct. When a VR system using coupled to an engine is cons instructed to build a virtual reality, having the given uh, having, having a given set of conditions, it selects a group of universes having the potential to satisfy those conditions from the, among the still indefinite numbers of parallel universes that still have wave functions that have not converged. That was a run-on sentence and a half. It then presents these as the VR constructs that you see before you. What you call VR training is nothing less than the external observation of and interference with that group of parallel universes. I recall the bizarre sensation of processing another person's body, no, possessing even, when I was engaged in the VR training. I suppose that was the sensation of interfering in another universe. Solidus's voice echoed. When you go through VR training, your actions within virtual reality are reflected in a set of corresponding universes. The resulting interference simultaneously acts as observer with regards to... Does, uh, what? What? The resulting interference simultaneously acts as observation with regards to a group of still indefinite parallel universes beside that one that is receiving the interference. That means that all possibilities of universing converge in the conditions for corresponding to the actions you took. For example, let's say that you just killed an enemy soldier with a VR simulation. That means that the universe containing that soldier was obsessed, <gasps> observed, and made definite. In other words, the universe is there. The soldier had become killed. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. I'm, I'm dead. I don't... What? In other words, universes where that soldier had not been killed lose their indefinite potential and are erased from existence. Solidus continued. <sighs> We're only halfway through. The only universe permitted to exist in the end is the one that doesn't contradict the actions that you took in the VR simulation. Do you realize what this means? When you are in a game, when your, no, when your game is over in the VR system, you and you try again, the potential for existence for that very universe is denied and eliminated as never having existed. That means that the every single time you replay a game, you, an out, what? That means that every single time you replay the game, an uncounted number of universes are destroyed. I was in total shock. I'm 13, and this is deep. Oh, God. The disturbance of a parallel universe that you've seen is a distortion generated by an external interference. I suppose you could see it as the death cries of the universes that you have been killing off. The singularities are a condensed form of that distortion. I have a flashback of Olga, the Gurgalon, and Mei Ling. If this disturbance has really been caused by external interference, well, that means. Oh wait, that was that was that was that, was con that wasn't conversation. That was that was. Uh, uh, uh. That means my own universe is receiving interference from VR systems in another universe. Of course. Haven't you ever felt like your body wasn't your own? Like you took an unprecedented action after the fact, or you were able to do something that you didn't think was possible. That's because of interference from other universes. Perhaps the reason you were able to topple Shadow Moses is because of the helping hand from someone in another universe. Solidus's laugh echoed through space. Ha ha ha! Through my research into parallel universes, I learned that I was I was killed many times in different worlds. I decided to protect myself. Zzzz. I refused to recognize any universe where I am killed. And that's why I decided to make things right with the VR system. I interfered with other parallel universes using the VR system and to control, the, to control them in such a way that I wouldn't die there. I don't care how many uh, much of a disturbance. I don't... What? I created how many... What? I don't care hey. how much of a disturbance I created. Hello, Ananda! Or how many contradictory universes are eliminated? The only thing that's important here is my survival period. That's crazy. Do you really have to think to, to uh, 
Do you really have the right to criticize me? Haven't you refused to recognize your own failures within the VR simulation by retrying a level again? God damn it! No voice by N9! Maybe this will make it fun! It scares me how the page numbering allows for triple digits. Yeah, I hear you, Huff. Ah! Entangling particles, collapsing waveforms, the spooky action at a distance. I can use buzzwords too. Page 13 of 14, chapter 1 of 20. This conversation is over. I won't give up the singularity. And I can't let you restore the universe that I have corrected. So I'd like you to stay here forever. He spat. You're going to regret forcing me to break the seal. Always at the pub. They will be here soon. A loathsome unit, infamous in uncountable universes, hated and feared by all. Their presence alone has the ability to destroy a world. They are children of darkness on whom is focused the combined hate of the entire universe. The presence of hell. No, the princess of hell and the prince of chaos. <laughs> okay, that payoff is good. I'll take it. The princess of hell is Rose. That, that makes more sense. Oh God, the gnome voice is true to the VR voice, yep. If the demonic crown fits, sit on it. Bass's combined existences is condensed into his hate of this plot line. I, I don't even mind the plot line, it's the explanation, it's, it's, ah. Uh. A dazzling light, light enveloped everything. I'm going to see the Princess of Hell and the, uh, the Prince of Chaos. It's only four, it's only four. And also we get a little bit of scar. Can we just, just, just want to chill out with a bit of scar? Oh, how about doing a bit of skanking with me, guys? <gasps> Jack, Earth to Jack. Rose leaned over the table. She cocked her head and looked into my eyes. What's wrong? You look so out of it. I gently stroked Rose's hair. Uh, I was enchanted by your eternal beauty. Very funny, Jack. Rose became as bashful as a little girl. I'm being serious. Rose touched my hand. Do you remember what day tomorrow is? Ah! What? March 21st? Yeah. Of course, it's the luckiest day of my entire life. The day I met you, I said. Wrong! Really? Yep. Rose puffed out her cheeks. I'm sorry. I think of how lucky I am to have met you every day, so I always think of the anniversary as being right around the corner. That doesn't exactly make any sense, but I'm happy to hear it anyway. Smiled Rose. By the way, your missions this time is to defuse all the bombs. Good luck. My vision darkened just then. I thought I heard someone calling me from far away for some reason. The voice seemed to be very familiar. Snake, that's Solidus's trap. Wake up! Just a little bit. Oh God. Freeze, more. I just shot you in the ribs. Ugh. Now in the head. Now I don't know what I'm doing. I'm defusing some bombs. Mysterious. There it is.
Just then is probably your least favorite phrase in bad writing. It's like the hallmark of a terrible, inexperienced writer. But how can you let people know that at that moment something happened? Freeze! <gasps> yeah, you're down. When the, f when the fans requested more snake, this is Kojima's reply to Sus. Oh my word. That's vindictive. Who is that? I need some help. No, you don't. No, you don't. Nice work. Yay! Snake's telling me that I've did a good job. Oh god, there's multiple stages. <laughs> what happens if we take this off? Will will Rose hate us? I was enveloped in an overpoweringly bright light. The next moment I was thrown into a huge space with a mysterious lit floor. S snake? Snake? Are you okay? I shook my head uh, uh, to clear a mild headache. If there's three pages of this. It felt like I'd been dreaming for a long time. I've completely retaken control of the VR system from Solidus! Wait, is that a good thing? Wait, wasn't Solidus trying to... That's how headaches work. Yeah, if you have a headache, you shake your head. I've completely... I've completely retaken the controls of the VR system from Solidus, said Otacon excitedly. That's good. So where's the singularity? I found it. It's there. You're in the sing singularity. Now we can start returning the universe to normal. Just then, I felt something huge closing in f in from the front. A Metal Gear ray emerged from the darkness, then a second one, and then another one, and then we had to do the boss fight again. It's Solidus' final attempt to stop us. I need a little more time to finish things, I end. You just hold up for a little bit. The Metal Gear ray units closed in, and I had to do the fight. Bang! Bang! I wonder what uh, difficulty level this fights on. Bang! Bang! It's definitely not an extreme, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to go all the way around with these dudes. Okay, not bad, not bad. Take you out, son. Cheeky man. Okay, fine. You know what I've missed, guys? You know what I've missed doing? The Ray fight. Again. One jump. Two jump. Wait, 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 wait. Just let me shoot you in the face. One, two. There we go. There's one for your knee as well, son. And another one for your face. There you go. Are you jumping up, land, or are you uh, staying down there? Oh, you just fired a singular rocket at me. Excellent. Oh, we got a friend. Hi, guys. You know what? I'm mean, a less stressed Brad. Not so much stressed. Just, um, exasperated is the word. Just then, Brad's got exasperated. Ah, 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 ah. Ow, you just stepped on me. Don't step on snack. Don't also shoot the floor. Have one of those, lad. Have one of those. And another one for your friend over here. Alright, he's just, he's just standing on me now. Stop it with the standing on me! Oh, you know what? Fine. You asked for this. Come on. That wasn't. That was. I almost said that to myself, by the way. You asked for this. Whose idea was it to create a channel where I'm 100% games? That was missiles, wasn't it?
Okay, there you go. On to you. And there. Oh! There go. One of those for your knee. One for your face. One for your knee. One for your face. One for your knee. One for your face. Uh, then I'm going to attack that guy. You guys go fight. Go fight. No. Oh, that did it. That did it. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what. Sorry. I, that was A, that was a bit too close to the microphone. B, I don't know what the noise was. Uh, uh, uh. I like that you have a Ray R05E. It looks like Rose. Oh my God. It really does. Oh, I never saw that before, Keen. It was giggly enthusiasm. This is probably close to over, hopefully. I, I don't know. We've got four pages. We've got at least four pages. At least. When I came to, I once... Uh, no, no, no. You know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to fight Solidus. We're going to have to fight Solidus. At least. At least that. When I came to, I once again found myself in what Solid... This is the okay, Keen. I'm just putting it out there. This is what's so annoying about these games. Some of the little details are really cool, but then they just scatter it with a load of poop. Just focus in on the good stuff, and yeah, this is awesome. But if you take into account the whole thing, the, the, the whole kit and caboodle. Ow, oh, I've gone cross eyed. When I came to, I once again found myself in what Solidus had called the gap between the parallel universes. I heard Otacon's happy voice from somewhere. Snake, we did it! Everything went perfectly on my end! Space has been... Uh, space has begun to repair itself! Do you hear that, guys? Space has begun to repair itself! Exactly like it was before! I spoke out into thin air. Should be! You should be pulled into our universe soon! But it looks like the repairs are occurring sequentially. It could be some time before everything gets back to normal. Snake! Echoed Solidus's angry voice. There was a flash of light again. And when I opened my eyes, I found myself standing atop a destroyed federal hall along with Solidus. Solidus true. They didn't even try and explain why we're on top of the damn hall. I was just like, yeah, you're on the hall now. Huh. <laughs> Probably the same writer as Snake Tales, fan fiction, Metal Gear Solid 2 and one half. Oh god. Not Snake Eater, Raiden Eater. There was a flash of light and yeah, we were on the thing where the, the you know, the fight takes place. You know, the one that's part of the story. Hey Lou! When we're 16 and you're finally done with us franchise. We very much look forward to your overall thoughts. <sighs> Just stop! It's over! The universe is repairing itself! No, it's not over. If I manage to kill you here, at least one universe while I survive will be made definite. Stop it! There has to be another way! I'm returning to my universe. I have no intention of interfering with yours, but there's no reason for us to fight. The Solidus merely laughed at my words, readying his swords. He fixed me with a piercing, menacing stare. Enough talk! Fight me! Okay. Have we got anything in this universe, or do we have to pick it up? Get away! Get away from me! Nope, we got nothing. <laughs> Okie dokie, right. This feels like the last bit. Come on. Why are we? Ah! <laughs> oh, the sweetest thing. Ow, he punched me in the face. Well, with his foot, which I'm pretty sure is called a kick, to be fair. I didn't want to kick him over. Right then, sir. Come on then. Sir stabs a lot. There's one. There's another. And Ow! Okay. Well, you can get four hits off if you do it like that. Let's go. Oh, 
I punched him! What's wrong with you? Okay. When Snake was a kid, did his mum ask if he'd moved on to solidus food yet? No. Take this! Oh, I punched you again, mate! Stop it! You're cheating. Uh oh! Oh, now I'm on fire. <laughs> Fine. The overlay is a liar? What's Why is the overlay a liar? Cake! Take this! Alright, we're gonna go for this one again. <laughs> Damn it. Is that the best you can do? It says you have 285 plunder, but the bot Die. says 433. Ooh, misalignment. Okay. Stop with the kicking me. And I'm on fire again. You know what? Let's let him hit us. Apparently is the end to that sentence. You can't make me refresh. You're not my meal. My, my meal? You're not my meal ticket. You're not my real mom. ran into the damn thing. Okay. Dude! Alright, what is going on with this fight? Because we keep on... Alright, that, that, our rations down. I hate you! Alright, he's down again. Let's go! <sighs> Come on. You're not my real ma mamba. Okay, is he gonna die? No. Oh, please don't say that we have... Please say that we don't have to do the second phase. That would, that would make things a little bit easier. <laughs> no, we have to do it. I don't have a lot of health left. Okay, okay. Eric is indeed done, Ananda. Oh, mate, 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 mate. This ain't cool. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't cool. A little bit of help. Ah, oh, he stabbed me in the behind. Ah, he stabbed me in the behind again. Okay, is this going to be the ending, or do we have to do it again? Continue? Ah, no! Oh. I don't know what's going on with the controller. It's having, having issues. You missed the end of uh, Eric. It was, it was pretty damn epic, to be fair. It will be up on the collections and the VOD if you want to 
check it out at a later date. There we go, that's what I want. Right, I'm gonna see whether we can, um... There we go. Just trying to see if we can cheese it again. There we go. We can actually hit him three times. Without him... Jetpacking away. It's a cake fort. I want, I want, I want in on the cake fort. I've got, I've got ginger nuts and and biscuits as well. Cheap, cheap joke. Precisely, Lima. Can't watch a VOD when I'm live. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we can. True story, N9. It's this. It's my Scottish her heritage. Is that the best you can do? What? Lie on the floor. I'm pretty good at lying on the floor, to be fair. You underestimate my abilities. Hell is going on. Take three. Come, come at me, bro. Come at me. What he did there is he is he came at me. So well, he did do what I wanted. Three shots to the face. That's how much it takes. Technically you can, Mr. Pedant. You'll rephrase. You won't want to watch a VOD while I'm like, Well, there you go. You can have that. That I will allow. Honestly, compared to the, a guy that's that's got a big... Octopus suit on. We're doing pretty good. And two swords. It's much better to make fun of me live. True story. True story. Let's go. Okay, right. I just like this. Hey, you didn't. Come on. Now I'm on fire. Damn it! Why can't I hit him in this bit? Take this! Oh, seriously? Okay, that was better. Take this. Nah. Take this over here. And now I'm in the fire. <laughs> Let's go. We have a ration on. Reach us. Like, Take this. Just gonna fall off the edge. That's, that's my. Oh my god, the, the, the falling off the edge tactic is actually quite a good one. Is 
then you come up, and then you can punch him. <laughs> oh, okay, that didn't work that time. I thought we might have found another, like, vamp fight. Uh... Oh, come on. Come on, man. Take this. I'm on fire. Now I'm bleeding. I'm on fire and I'm bleeding. Oh, cack. I almost swore there. Oh, come on, one more, one more, one more. No! <laughs> Don't get greedy, man. Don't get greedy. Get your life back. The single love tap to end. Just a... Stop it! Oh, okay. Oh my god, there's 12 pages of this. There's 12 pages! <sighs> Don't get greedy, get your life back. It's, it's a good shit slogan. Oh, marshmallows. Grr, arg. <laughs> Get your life back. Or get greedy. <sighs> okay. Solidus tumbled from the roof of the Federal Hall. I threw my hand out for him, but he caught nothing but air. Solidus's body fell in silence. I couldn't do anything but watch. The moment his body hit the ground, I was enveloped by a blindingly powerful light. When the light cleared, I found myself in the hideout. Otacon and Olga stood right in front of me. Otacon raised his hand. Hi, welcome back, Snake. Your return could mean that I'll be next to go. We'll miss you. Olga smiled gently. I'll miss you too, but I have to go. There's somebody I want to see. Is this what you're looking for, KP? Is this what you're looking for? Because this is what you've got. Now I'm imagining Solidus. Skateboarding and catching some air. That's how we. That's how we wanted to go. Thank you, Bab. I'll miss you too, but I have to go. There's somebody I want to see. Your kid. Olga looked at me in surprise. Oh, that was me. Your kid. Uh, what? I don't have any children. Not yet. She lowered her eyes as if embarrassed and said. My husband is waiting for me. H husband? Otacon and I explained in shock. That's right. In my universe, I quickly interrupted her. I don't care. No, we're probably better off not knowing. Olga smiled broadly. A bright light enveloped her body, and she was gone. Otacon said sadly, She's gone. Well, duh. Yeah, but now that I think of it, the snake standing in front of me seems very different from the snake I knew from my universe. It was just as Otacon said, in an incountable number of parallel universes there had to be some that were incredibly similar. We hadn't felt anything out of the ordinary, but it was possible that the Otacon in front of me was a millimeter taller than the Otacon I knew, or perhaps he didn't like dogs. Who doesn't like dogs? Perhaps his father was still alive. The memories we thought we shared. Perhaps he hadn't had sex with his stepmom. That's canon. Or at least it is right now. Maybe it'll get retconned at some point in the future because this this series is rife with retcon. 
Uh, or maybe he didn't like dogs. Perhaps his father was still alive. The memories we thought we shared may might have been erased from existence, but there was no way back to check for sure. As soon as I engrossed, uh, engrossed in thought, I stood engrossed in thought. Otacon extended an open palm. The snake in my universe owes me a hundred bucks. Nice. Ignoring him, I said the Otacon from my universe wouldn't be angry if I told him I'd accidentally broke one of these action figure toys. Otacon's eyes widened in shock. What? Which one did you break? I let out a laugh. Soon both of us were laughing. Then we were rolling. And then we were kissing. We realized something. We might have said uh, that we might have the same shared memories and perhaps we'd be going to different universes shortly. But one thing was clear. We were friends. The world filled with bright light. Otacon and I shook hands. <laughs> You're allergic to dogs. I mean, this doesn't mean you don't have to like them. And stepmoms, you're allergic to stepmoms. <laughs> when I came to, I was sitting in a chair in the hideout. I looked around the room. It was the same hideout as ever. There was no trace of the damage Solidus has caused. I returned to just before the whole incident e ha Wait, I had returned to just before the whole incident even happened? My path of vision crossed with Otacon, who was sitting across from me. Did, uh, did we come back? Asked Otacon, judging from his tone of voice, it seemed he'd been through a similar experience to mine. But there had to be an incountable number of universes where nearly the same thing had occurred. I didn't know if this Otacon had been in the same universe with me, and there was no way to check, but I didn't really care. The person sitting in front of me was Otacon. It's all over, said Otacon. Oh, I, I know those sentiments. Stretching. Something occurred to me, and I said, Are you sure? Please, yes, please, please, yes, please. What do you mean? I just wonder if it's really over. I told Otacon about what I couldn't get out of my head when I faced Solidus at the end. I really hadn't wanted to fight him, but I did fight him, and I liked him. And no, I killed him. I mixed the L's and the K's up. Uh, and added a C in there as well. It was as if I hadn't been in control of my own body. Solidus said the Copplethorn engine and the VR system interfered with the parallel universes. But what if it, he was wrong? Or what if there was another device that allowed one to externally observe and interfere with a parallel universe? You're thinking too much, Otacon said, laughing it off. And anyways... He leaned towards me. Did you say that you broke one of my action figures? No, I was just... Suddenly, the door opened, and in walked Mei Ling! She looked like nothing had happened at all. Hey, check this out! Mei Ling threw us a tabloid that she'd brought with her. Oh god, it's over. A monster at Big Shell? Yeah. Bit of grime. Everybody ready for a bit of grime? Oh, my chair's not. See ya. Oh my god. It's over. Are we done forever? We are done forever, as in the live stream. However, Metal Gear Ray bears the burden of forever. This party, thwarting their plan. See that right there? Back to its original that exists because all of the VR missions will be done on Discord. The, the chair is not a fan of crime. It is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. Trust, 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 trust.
I don't know whether it's too quiet for you guys, but there was a really creepy baby sound at the end there. Yeah, the VR missions are pay to watch. <laughs> well, pay to watch live. The VODs will go up on uh, on Twitch. Oh, that was Olga's baby. Okay, it wasn't creepy. It was a little creepy. Foreshadowing of Death Stranding. Oh, God. That's the only game recently that I have actually walked away from. Death Stranding. <laughs> Played a fair amount of it. Got very bored. <laughs> Not bored, just it wasn't it wasn't for me. Yes, I would like to save. External gazer. Hello. Good morning, Guardian. How are you? You're up early? But yeah, for anybody that is interested, and honestly, you crazy cats and kittens, you can tell what I've been watching recently. We are at 53.6%. Through the VR missions. It's it's an uphill climb. The VR missions are now going to be relegated to Discord streams. Again, that's why I've got this. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. So if anybody is interested in watching them, I will just... I will announce when I'm doing a little bit of Metal Gear Solid and Discord. It's very casual. It's still family friendly internally, i.e. me. But the fact is that the chat doesn't show, so you guys can be as rude as you want through the, the Discord live chat. It is a slog, Lou. It is a slog. We are, what, 17 and a half hours into this. And we're at 53%. Uh, there was a bit of me that was thinking that maybe, maybe, maybe. Here's Johnny. Hey, Shen. What up, dog? There was a bit of me that was hoping that maybe we would complete it by Sunday. However, regardless of whether we complete this by by, by Sunday, we will start the next game in the franchise. Remember, we go through in terms of what was released next. Which is, in fact, Twin Snakes. Twin Snakes was released a couple of months before MGS3. So, I'm not playing any of these right now. I've, 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 why am I, why am I saving? Exit. Don't save. Oh, I've already saved that bit, Huff. We did one little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've done Secret Theater a couple of times. Um, we've done it. We've put Rose and Raiden together, fighting each other. Uh, the casting theater, right? Oh, good shout, Dr. Rainer Hofstede. We are giving away a copy of Civilization 3. We are raffling it off. If you want to be in with a chance of, of getting it, we'll raffle, raffle it off in the next 10 minutes or so, uh, as the, is the end of the stream soon. Um, you've got to be in it to win it. Exclamation mark raffle, then a space, and then a number between 1 and 15, depending on how many tickets you want. Each ticket costs fifth, uh, 100 plunder. Excellent. That's good news, Guardian. Thank you for letting me know, dude. Uh, so, yeah... Like it was the it was the last one demo eight. We put some uh, we put Raiden versus Rose, which was quite fun.
So that's it. Everything except the VR missions is done. I am putting down the controller for live Twitch, anyway. On Sunday, we will start Twin Snakes. That is the name of the game, right? I haven't played the damn thing, so I have no idea. The Twin Snakes on the GameCube. Ah, uh, came out in 2004. I think August and then November, I think, was, was Metal Gear Solid 3. Right, guys, let's get Metal Gear out of here. Metal Gear Solid 2. You will be updated on the vaults, but you will no longer be featuring live. Get the hell out of here! <laughs>